Every day, Australians are out in the world doing remarkable things. Join us on our journey as we meet some of them. Through our aid program, Australians work in partnership with regional countries to help them become more prosperous and secure. Abigail Truen is a paramedic from the Northern Territory who helps lead Australia's response to international disasters. So in the warehouse that you're sitting in, um, this facilitates a 28-tonne field hospital, uh, which is a surgical field hospital, because when you arrive in a disaster, people have already been potentially waiting for help. Within an hour and a half, we can have patients inside this and operating. We had a visit from uh, SBY, the former president of Indonesia, and he described our region as the supermarket of disasters. And I think he's probably correct. If you start to look at our region at the moment, you know, we have volcanic activity, we've got earthquakes, we're coming into cyclone season. So disasters is part of where we live. I think they expect us to be there when they ask for help, and we need to be. Lockie Hart's Darling Downs based Stockyard Beef Company is exporting products to Japan and 14 other countries around the world. My father founded the company 60 years ago with my mother. His local community is growing along with him to meet the challenge. Look, it has been a fantastic opportunity for Australian exporters of beef. Uh, just last year alone, we saw a 34% increase in the volume of business we're doing to the Japanese market. The industry is changing. We're seeing a lot of youth, we're seeing a lot of job opportunities in our industry and particularly for women. We're seeing communities actually being developed because of the growth in the agricultural communities within Australia. And because what we, uh, we produce here at the feedlot, it's high-end Angus or, or the Japanese Wagyu genetics that produces that juicy, succulent, tender product time and time again. Wendy Mann is Chief Pilot for Geraldton Air Charter. Lima Charlie Bravo, she's called, and she's a beautiful old girl. She's making entirely new opportunities in the Midwest and Coral Coast regions of Western Australia by encouraging the growing Chinese tourist market. And one day last year, I flew a big group of them on my birthday, and so they thought it was fabulous that I was, must have been my 70th birthday, that I was actually flying them. And so as we we're approaching up the coast, you've got the beautiful blue-green of the sea, and you've got the fields on the, the land side. And then the Pink Lake doesn't look pink until you're almost right on top of it. And then all of a sudden, you see this pink, and you hear the people in the aeroplane go, oh! Jason Roberts is an Antarctic researcher and one of the many talented Australians demonstrating to the world Australia's credentials in science. The Antarctic Treaty, actually science is the currency of the treaty. It is how nations demonstrate that they're serious about Antarctica, that they're, they're doing work, they're, they're trying to understand Antarctica and, and go forward. The ice cap project, the, the, the aerial survey work when we're flying around in this really lovely old aircraft. It looks like something out of an Indiana Jones movie. Where do you think the science will lead us? To make informed decisions. Australians take on challenges all over the world. Paige Philogene studied fashion in New Delhi through the new Colombo plan. I mean, it gave me an opportunity to experience another industry that's part of sort of a greater industry that I'll be a part of in the future. And I can now say I'm a new Colombo Plan scholar. The Australian government supports the Indo-Pacific Health Security Initiative. Um, so the Tall Poppy Awards, I think, are uh, recognition for my part and our, our team's work that we've been um, doing studying malaria, um, predominantly in Malaysia for the last few years. I lived up in the northwest tip of Borneo in a small town called Kudat, and we also travelled to a number of the, the small rural district hospitals there. So it was, yeah, it was great. I think a good day in Sabo was seeing the direct sort of policy implications of the work you're doing and seeing the, the pleasure and the happiness that that sort of brings. Some of those days where we got to show them the actual work and what, what had happened were, were pretty exciting. Lalani Bin Judah is Treaty Liaison Officer, representing the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade on Thursday Island in the Torres Strait. The connections between Australia and Papua New Guinea, or the Torres Strait and Western Province in particular, expands thousands of years, 6,000 years plus. It's evolved and it has come to, to be a modern day experience, if you like, for traditional inhabitants. 
right in the thick of it. We live it and breathe it every day. Back in Canberra, Matthew Blow, an Australian Federal Police officer and his loyal partner Leo, are keeping Australia safe by detecting illegal movement and concealment of currency and illicit drugs within Australia. If the dog responds on something that, well, people should be bringing in, that's the satisfaction of yeah, stopping those things coming into the country or stuff like that. Thank you for meeting some of the people putting our foreign policy into action. Come to our Foreign Policy White Paper website and meet more Australians doing remarkable things.